Welcome to S&P's European Loan Market Video Overview, detailing leverage finance trends and activity during August 2012. I'm Suchit Gupta, a member of S&P Capital IQ's Leverage Commentary and Data Team, a unit of S&P that is not affiliated with S&P ratings. For the next few minutes, I'll walk you through a review of recent loan and high-yield bond market trends in Europe before winding up with themes to watch for in September and early October 2012. Before we start, please know you can follow LCD on Twitter, Facebook, and can join the more than 9,000 contacts in LCD's Leverage Loan Group on LinkedIn. We're pleased to announce the launch of LeverageLoan.com, a free website promoting the asset class. On it, you'll find recent market stats, news and analysis, leverage finance job postings, and an online primer detailing the key terms of the leverage finance process. The links to our new website and to follow LCD's social channels are in the info section on our YouTube channel. You can also download the slides for this video at slideshare.net. The European leverage finance market was subdued as both investors and bankers took their annual summer holiday. August saw European monthly loan volume at 1.1 billion euros from six transactions, down from 1.7 billion euros from seven transactions in July. High yield issuance was 1 billion euros from four deals, down from 2.6 billion euros from nine deals in July. Given the anticipated quantitative easing policies from central banks, investors have been searching for yield. According to JP Morgan High Yield Research, European high yield funds saw their fifth straight consecutive week of inflows, including a massive inflow of 204 million for the week ended August 22nd. So far, inflows for August 2012 were 472 million, down from the 750 million seen in July 2012. Till the end of August, inflows into high yield European high yield funds are estimated to be 1.7 billion euros. Given the absence of quantifying loan inflows in Europe, the next best metric is repayments, which for August 2012 was 1.7 billion euros, down from the 2.7 billion seen at the end of July. Given the subdued primary market and the significant inflows, investors turned their attention to the secondary markets, both for high yield bonds and for loans. The high yield market finished the month at 97.7 up 137 bips for the month and 379 bips from the end of June. The loan market finished the month at 95.6, up 61 bips for the month and up 129 bips from the end of June. The S&P European Leverage Loan Index, the LE, finished the month at 0.91% for the month of August. Given the positive fund flows and the subdued primary, secondary markets are up for both loans and high yield. Loan issuance slid from 1.7 billion euros to 1.1 billion in August, High yield issuance led to 1 billion euros from 2.6 billion euros. High yield funds recorded their fifth consecutive week of inflows, according to JP Morgan High Yield Research. However, default rates rose during the month. Focusing on the secondary loan market, this chart details the average price of LCD's European loan flow name composite, a measure of the 12 largest most liquid loans consisting of 10 issuers since 2002. Given the imbalance between inflows and primary issuance for both leveraged loans and high yield bonds, Secondary loan prices rose 61 bips to finish the month at 95.6 and 129 bips from the end of June. This next chart details the average price of LCD's European High Yield Flow Name Composite, a measure of the 12 most liquid high yield issues since the beginning of the year 2010. The high yield market finished the month at 97.7, up 137 bips for the month and 379 bips from the end of June. This chart details the monthly return of the LE, a broad measure of European loan market returns that LCD calculates. All returns are ex-currency unless otherwise stated. The European loan market had a positive return of 0.91% for the month of August, up from 0.35% in July. The total LE return for the first eight months 2012 is a positive 6.34% versus 0.41% for the same period last year. All returns are ex-currency unless otherwise stated. Now we turn from the secondary to the primary. This graph details new issue volume for both leveraged loans and high yield bonds. August saw European monthly loan volume at 1.1 billion euros from six deals, down from 1.7 billion euros from seven deals in July. High yield issuance was 1 billion euros from four deals, down from 2.6 billion euros from nine deals in July. In the loan market, given the supply demand imbalance, as well as illiquidity in the secondary market, investors are incre increasingly being drawn to the new primary deals, resulting in price flexes downwards. For the eight months ending August 31, 2012, there have been seven deals that have been reverse flexed down. 
The default rate by principal amount moved up to 4.75 at the end of August 2012, up from 4% at the end of July. Meanwhile, the default rate by issuer count is now at 6.5% at the end of August, up from 55 at the end of July 2012. Themes to watch for going forward. More uncertainty and instability due to the European sovereign debt crisis, the end of which doesn't seem in sight. Possible inflows into high-yield bond funds on the back of interest rate cuts by the ECB, and more importantly, the relative stability of the secondary markets. A2E, a meant to extend, to continue as issuers continue to seek to address their maturity concerns, though issuers that are coming to the market will be weaker. As the tone improves in the European high-yield market, there will be a number of issuers that will seek to access the market. We're already seeing the calendar fill up for September and early October. There's still a mismatch between buyer and seller expectations, which have resulted in a number of auctions being called off for LBOs. That brings us to the end of our overview. I hope you found it informative. We'll update the analysis each month and plan to have analysis of other specific European market segments going forward. Check out LCD's YouTube page for other video analysis of the leveraged finance market, including U.S. loan market wrap-ups. The link to the page is in the description for this video. For more information on LCD news or research in Europe, you can contact Anna Cini. You can email her by clicking on the link in the info box. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.